Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tabu Nicholas Kopa, aka Taski Daraski, aka Zakaria the Ghost. Um, guys, storytellers will tell stories regardless. And today's episode, guys, I just want to shine a light on the mental illness about um, depression, the anxiety, because it's very big, guys. And sometimes we wait for Hollywood to come and give us those stories so that we can sit down and listen and pay attention. But we, we should tell those stories. We should tell those stories because sometimes you know somebody who's going through something, but we are not talking. That's, that's the biggest problem. Men are having this muscular thing of not sharing, not talking when things are bad. But I'm very grateful for this other gentleman, Malebo, who decided to come and sit down with me and share his story. And he taught me so much. It's just unfortunate because he's no longer with us. He passed away. But today I just remember the gentleman. And as I open this channel, I want to be talking about the real story. I want to share stories. I want to tell stories without any fear and share the light. You know what I'm saying? Storytellers will tell stories regardless. And if I am telling my own story the way I'm telling it, just imagine what I will do with somebody's story. But I have to give it a justice and make sure that people hear that and understand what people are going through. The gentleman was, he was full of life. You know, he was 40 years old. I remember the day he celebrated his 40th birthday. He was very happy. He was a happy soul, man. And I met this guy at the place called Pomona. Pomona is Isrand, Ekuruleni, uh, Captain Parkside. So if you are in South Africa, then you might know the place because it's around Joburg. And when we met, I remember him, man. He was, he was not really himself. You see, when you meet somebody who is way older than you, but he doesn't have that confidence, he doesn't have that strength of saying, I'm a man, I want to do things, th things this way, I want to do this, I don't want to do this, I want to do this. He, he doesn't have that. It was, he was just that kind of a guy who just accept whatever comes to his way and i spoke with him i'm like man wh wh why are you like this because we he was sharing uh, a room with with the colors these colored boys who are working to the same company with him and what happened was <clears throat> when it comes to month end these boys you, you need to know when you have uh, roommates like freaky Fri freaky strauss you just know that it, it's gonna be something else so these guys will have lots of fun when it comes to month end, these guys will be wearing their BVDs, they will take out the speakers, they are drinking namakwa, they are frying meat and everything, and everybody's happy. They celebrate life, they celebrate the fact that they've been working for the whole month, and now they eat their money, right? And it's going to be nice, man. They're drinking, girls are there, this and that, and it's Saturday, it's Sunday, all is well. Hey, Dabo, come and join us, man. Come and drink. They will be doing that, and... I'll be like, guys, I'm at work because I was, I was, um, mud bowling the trucks. Mud bowling, it's, 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 uh, the place where we were, it was the storage. So Toyota will bring the trucks from Devon and to my storage. So I have to make sure that I write the, the, the job number of the truck. It has a job number, is the one that you can identify. This is truck number, this and that. I have to write the number down and check which date they arrived. And on that date, the following month, I have to take the, the truck to the wash bay so that it can be washed and it must be driven back to its parking because each and every truck has the parking. This is D46. You have to take the key from D46 from the securities. From thereafter, when you're done with it, you park it there and you take the key and you give it to the security. It was the procedure. So we can know that all the trucks which happen maybe today on the 27th, we, we work on the tra trucks which arrived on the 27th. When we're done, tomorrow on the 28th, we have the list of trucks. That's how we do the mud bowling. So these guys were securities, uh, the colored guys. So when they get paid, it's lit. It's a party the whole weekend. So, but there was a problem about them partying a lot because now they party Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On Monday, they had what we call the handover. A babalas and 
that's when they remember that they bought too much alcohol and they didn't buy grocery and they are hungry and this guy who was sharing the room with the malebu bought enough grocery for the whole month now what do they do they go to his room they take eggs and everything they start cooking because they're hungry and now when he's talking to these guys it's a fight no 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 man it, it becomes that thing you know and one day he sat down with me and said man do you see how this this light is treat me i'm like yeah man i see that man. but you should stand your ground you should tell them to do what they do and give you your space you know and he said yeah but you know what i do have a problem because of before i come here i was working to this other fidelity uh company so we were the cash trans the guys who transport money and the guys who made sure that when it comes to grant we are the ones who goes to those uh paying station to make sure that we escort uh the the cash trans car so what happened is he told me that one night he just got paid and he went to the bar and he's drinking as usually spending his money and he hooked up he, he got this chick at the bar then they eventually decided to go home and drink there at home so that they cannot be disturbed by people because what happened is when you got money you find out that there is lots of people especially in the locations who are there but they don't have money to buy alcohol but if you're the guy who's buying a lot you end up having company the table might be full you might be have uh, six chicks it might be like up to ten people in your in the same table because you are supplying with alcohol that's that's the norm that's something that we know in 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 in, in the locations in south africa we know that and they decided okay let's go home and let's enjoy our alcohol without anybody giving us any problems so they went home long story short um they had fun they did what they did and tomorrow morning bam it's a rape case wow the cops arrived to his place and they asked him are you malibu he said yes and they said Ulvu mili kala, meaning he agreed so he pleaded guilty now okay now they took him to jail he went there and he stayed there for nine months you know he was there for nine months and the woman who opened that case never showed up in court so he served nine months in jail and when he comes out he had a criminal case and he couldn't work for those top security companies anymore so he lost the job and the mother of his child feels some type of way when she look at him because when it comes to a rape case even if although you might come out it doesn't mean people will still say okay he was not found guilty he's innocent let's treat him the same way we used to treat him it it, it bring that kind of a cloud whereby people look at you and they will always look at you as a rapist and and that really ruined him or that really really becomes something that was very heavy on him because now he couldn't have enough time with his children because of the mother she's pulling away and even the community as large they start looking at him differently like oh he's a rapist is this is that and and sometimes while we are busy talking about uh women and children abuse let's not forget that it's not only women and children who get abused sometimes men don't talk they just keep quiet and they don't want to talk about these things and he decided he need a change of scenery he need to change um a place to stay find something different where people do not know him where he can find peace so that's when he arrived in pomona so when he arrived he found out these colored boys are young men are wild and sometimes you cannot blame them they want to party they want to go party these are their first jobs they just came from school and this and that and it was that kind of a thing and i remember there was this other guy who was older than these colors he, he was older than them he was the one who was recruiting them from the location i remember there was from esras esras some, somewhere there in pretoria yeah. he, he, he recruited them from there and he was older than them he will go to the bar at club club 88 yeah captain park there was, there was a place called club 88 they will go there and have alcohol but what's funny about this guy is that when he got paid he goes to the club with these boys and when he arrive and he see the lady that he likes he wanna be with he will go to this woman and put thousand bucks to her bra 
like you put the thousand packs in there and you tell you tell the woman that from now on you are my wife from now on you are my wife this guy he doesn't need any introduction he doesn't need to engage first it's just there he's married and the lady will be asking are you with those guys because they're young he said no nie, nie, nie. It look near summit like this you know and meaning no 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 i don't i don't i don't walk around with kids those are they're doing their own thing they're not with me so he will deny them and he will have fun with the woman and that woman is known as his wife and the unfortunate part is by the time he has to go home with the woman he is so drunk he doesn't even remember where the woman is so he used to do it <laughs> like every month and and guys used to laugh a lot and i i can compare him with the guy by the name of um mgilani mgilani was something else he was he was suffering from <clears throat> sorry about that he was suffering from i think um i don't know because he, he wanted to feel accepted when he doesn't have money he's cool he's this kind of a guy you can sit down with him talk to him and when he has money he becomes a different animal i'm gonna share the story about gilan uh let me get back to to my label okay then they will do that to my label and he will be asking for advice what should i do i said no change the locks go and get the new lock that you will lock your foot in there so that because they're not going to stop drinking now these guys they will keep on drinking every month when they get paid and when they're hungry they will keep on coming to take your food and cook and 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 you know what is happening when the guy is hungry you might fight for the same food that you bought because people don't want to accept when they made mistakes they just want their problem to become your problem so simplify things go and buy the new set of lock and lock your food in there and that's it and and that create you know boundaries and they're not gonna be in in, in a good state because i remember he was planning on moving out and going and find his own place where he can rent but before that uh things just went sideways because he passed away i remember it was on 31st of december it's like 10 years ago now mm? time is going so fast and people can be forgotten so fast so what happened was it was the 31st he was on duty and i told you those those current boys were drinking so they decided you know what let's just go to kasi and get some alcohol this and that so what they used to do one will go there and buy the stuff bring it to where they are then they will push whatever they push i don't want to say the push time and whatever because if we know what I'm telling, it's for them what they were doing, it was very legal because you cannot drink on duty. But some other people got problems. It's, it's not even a, a secret. Even people in the top corporate, they just want to get that taught before they go to work. It's, it's, it's just known. But it's a bad habit. But each to his own. We are all trying to become better. So the other guy will come and bring the things and they will come and drink is fine when the bottles are, are finished the, he will go and and fetch the alcohol come back and they drink and, and they used to do that that routine until when it was midnight so he went there to buy alcohol and he didn't come back you know because it was lit the location everything was fine so he decided to go there and he didn't come back and I'm sorry about the noise because there is a helicopter up there <clears throat> but i'll continue with the recording so but um around two around one two the guy started to to, to to become worried a lot like why is this guy not coming back where is this guy why is he not here and around five that's when he decided you know what let me go back to to work before the supervisors comes there and, and realize that I'm not on duty. <clears throat> so let me get some water. I'm downstairs, man. I can I can see this these white neighbors. They're like up there. They are all standing there on looking at me like what is he what is he doing what why is he just talking alone come on man i'm a content creator i'm working you know 
I have to work. I have to deliver something. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have to care about them. I don't have to worry much about them. So around 5 o'clock, he decided he want to come home or to his workplace. And that's where he got hit by a car. He got hit by multiple cars. And it was horrible because I remember on the first when I arrived at work early in the morning, I saw only a company cab there and I can see blood there. I'm asking myself, was this a robbery or somebody was trying to rob somebody or what happened? And the guys told me that, oh, you, you didn't hear. You know, Malibu just passed away last night. It was horrible because um, even his pictures are there on the social media. It was bad, man. It was, it was bad. But one, one thing for sure that I want to say is people should talk. You know, people should have time to talk to people, share their own stories. And you will never know, man. You might talk to somebody and that somebody might know somebody or that somebody might help you with what you're dealing with. Because we are all human beings. We are all not perfect. We are all trying to better ourselves. We are all trying to find a way of finding happiness. Because we know that you cannot find happiness from others. You have to find happiness within. You know what I'm saying? And it was horrible, man. And I just passed there last week next to Old Pretoria Road. And I'm like, yeah, a person can just die like this. And everybody moves on and he is forgotten. You know what I'm saying? In memory of my, my, my brother, man, because... He, he respected me much, although I was younger than him, to sit down and talk to me and share his pain of this is what I'm going through, this is what I'm dealing with. And I remember even if he was off on his off days, he has to go and see his family and children. He said, man, I cannot go there, man, because even, even if when people do not tell or don't talk to me about those stuff, you can, you can tell by looking into their face, like the way they look at me they still think of me that way and that was horrible nobody gives anybody any apology it's like man this woman she's not coming to court that's it you can you are free but you cannot get the freedom back you cannot get the happiness back you cannot control the way people look at you and think of you so guys we we should we should know and understand that life is something else man Nobody really knows and figured out life. So while we are still breathing, let's just share, guys. Let's just talk. Because storytellers will tell stories regardless. And I'm going to tell so many hardcore stories. I don't like gossip, like waiting for somebody, a celebrity, do this and come and report on that now. Because I'm, I'm building a platform whereby I am shifting my focus from just creating content for people to get entertained or this and that that's why even the length of my video it's not going to be two minutes three minutes i'm going to make it longer because now i am having a different target right now i am telling stories that wherever you are and you feel like we can work we can work you know what i'm saying i don't want to fall into the trap of everybody's talking about the apartheid everybody is talking about the abuse everybody is talking about the robberies people robbing people in SA thieves and everything I don't want to fall into that gangster filmmaking I just want to share the great positive uh, content as, as you know man the, the, the mental issue will be a big thing man 2020 it will be big they will be talking about it everywhere but we, we, we always wait for Hollywood to come and bring things before we can shine a light on it but it will pick up. It's like African spirituality. It's going to be big also. But we are still waiting for the other big major radio stations and televisions to start talking about it. So people can pay attention to it. But we, we will get there. Slowly, but we will get there. But storytellers will tell stories regardless. We don't have to wait for big video cameras so that I can have a crew to start shooting. I just want to tell stories. And when the time is right, when the money is there, when the cameras are there, then I can start shooting short films. Thank you very much for subscribing to this channel, guys, and liking this video because of we have to grow. And once we have the support and we have the structure, it's easy now not to go to ask different people for the acting roles. 
we just know that i have a crew one thing for sure which is holding me back right now is because of when you go to approach people about a short film you want to shoot you have to tell them about how much you're going to pay them so you need to have the budget to talk to somebody and talk to them about the short film you want to shoot and tell them how much you will pay them and it becomes a problem because of that budget is not there yet so i just have to do the storytelling and later on that's when i have people that i can build a team i can have people who want to be into film industry then we can start talking about the numbers and everything later guys and thanks a lot for 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 sharing and subscribing and i saw some couple of people are sharing my videos on youtube and this and that it's 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 humbling guys i'm, I'm very grateful for what you're doing for my channel thanks a lot guys thanks